Go back to what I said before and, and highlight some of these things. And, and some of these signs are so simple that basically it's a single liner. And, and if, you, if you look at it, uh, let me go ahead and open up a... Okay, so last time I said about uh, um, about uh, the hundred and fourteenth hundred fourteenth uh, additive prime which is uh, 1, 2, 9, 7, okay, and then we found out that 1, 2, 9, 7, 1, 2, 9, 7 is the 47th, 47th, um, Super prime, and we also found out that the 19th permutation of 1297 is 9127. Okay. So, relevant numbers 114, 47, and 9127. So, as I said, Surah, surah 47 is called Muhammad. Okay. And, and 114 is the number of chapters that was revealed to the person that God is calling him the, his last prophet. Okay? And so, so and, then, and then chapter 9 of that such a Quran has 127 verses. Okay? So, they wanted to change this, so they changed it. They put 129 verses in chapter 9. Okay? But these numbers are eternal. They are not going to change. So, and I want, I want to get this across to people, okay? People open up the Quran and they choose things from the Quran, try to prove that this and that and the others. This methodology that I am telling you about is generating things without going into the Quran. I haven't done anything in here. I just looked at 1297 and 1297 is a an additive prime means one plus two plus nine plus seven is equal to nineteen. Nineteen is a prime number. An additive prime is that the digital sum of that number, which is a prime number, also is a prime number. That's what an additive prime is. Okay? And so so anyway, so again uh, what I want you to do is Go to the Google box and say additive prime. Okay. And then it says right here, list of additive primes 1 to 1,000. So you click on that, and it comes in here, and you go to hundred fourteenth additive prime. Click on it and it says right there, 114th additive prime is 1297. Okay? And as you see, the digits of 1297 are exactly the same digits as 9127. But 9127 happens to be the 19th permutation of it because God is telling God, Okay? And now this also happens to be a super prime. 1297 happens to be a super prime. That means that this index is also a prime. And it happens to be the 47th such prime. So, as I said, the numbers that we got today are 114, which is the number of surahs in the Quran, 9127, which is the number of verses in chapter 9, 
and 47, which is the surah called Muhammad. Okay. So in order to do this now, God is also put 47, 38. That's the number of verses in chapter 47. This number 47 to 38 is 23. This is his prime roots to, or prime factors, 23, 2, and 103. Okay. So this is 23 is 9, prime number 9. 2 is prime number 1, 103 is prime number 27. And we are back to 9127 again. Okay? This comes from Surah called Muhammad. Okay? Remember God says, obey God and his messenger? That's what we are doing. That's what you are doing right now. You are, you are fulfilling that, that commandment that God gives you. And God is telling you the message is correct, the message is right. Okay. And so, from every point of view that you look at, from every vantage point that you look at this, okay, this has 127 verses. Chapter 9 has 127 verses, a book which has 114 surahs, and the person who was responsible for delivering the message is Muhammad. So now, we go right here, as I said, the 19th additive prime is 139. Again, we add up 1 plus 3 plus 9 is 13. 13 is a prime number, so it's an additive prime. It happens to be the 19th one. But it also happens that 139 is the number of letters in chapter 1, which is called al fatiha Okay? It has 139 letters. So every time you recite in Arabic, that's what you are doing. You are reciting the 19th additive prime. Okay? 139th additive prime is 1657. Okay, 1657 in base 19 equals 9127, oops, in base 10. Okay. So again, we are back to 9127. Okay? So every time you do the Alpha tab, you basically bear witness that there is 17 times a day. Seven, every Raka you, you do the Alpha tab. Okay? That's universally understood, universally, uh, universally recognized that that's, we can do that. You can say Alpha tab in every Raka in the, in, the, in the contact place, in the Salat. Okay? And so, in order to, to do this, okay, these are the stuff that we do all the time. It's not that somebody is trying to ram this down your throat. You say it yourself. You don't have to argue with me. You have to argue with these numbers here. With these numbers. That's what you have to do. You have to argue with those numbers. These numbers generate the Quran. Okay? I haven't touched the Quran. I haven't done it. I haven't done it to look at this chapter, look at that chapter, see how many verses it has, this and that, the others. I haven't done that. What we are doing, we are generating that. We are telling you why chapter 42 is supposed to have 53 verses. We are telling people why chapter 42 has to have 353 frequencies of harmony in it. That's what we are doing. And I hope that this sinks in somehow. 
Maybe my pedagogy is not good enough to try to transmit this to people. And they keep coming back to me with, with stuff which is trivial. Okay? They're still div dividing by 19. They're still looking for multiples of 19. Without even understanding, comprehending what is really going on. Okay? So again, it goes back to the magic of the magicians. To the ordinary people, including, 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 uh, including Pharaoh and his elders, what he did looked like magic. Okay? That somehow, I'm fiddling with these numbers, and all of a sudden, presto, this 9127 is coming out. Okay? This generates it. This generates why chapter 19 is supposed to have 98 verses. It tells you that. Why is supposed to have 798 frequency of Kaf, Ha, Ya, Ain, Sada in it? That's what it tells, does tell you. Okay? Why there is a relation between chapter 13 and chapter 19 in the Quran? The number of initials in there. 1482 and 798. Okay? That's what they have to respond. That they have to produce. If they cannot produce this, do not listen to them. Demand it. Demand, produce this for me. Tell me this. Why not? Okay? So, and, and you look at the last line that I wrote there. Okay? 1657 in base 19 is 9127 in base 10. The 10th initial surah in the Quran is 19. Okay? And if you look at, if you look at the digital sum of the left side of that equation and the right side of the equation, both sides, they add up to 19. 7 plus 2 plus 1 plus 9 is 19. 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 1 is 19. Can you imagine that? Okay? That is, that is given to us, okay? So, so we will know why these relations actually exist. Okay? So, again, I'm going to, to do this for you, just as a last thing, 798. We know how to derive it, but let me just look at it this way. It's the number of initials in chapter 19. 798 happens to be the six. 58 composite. Look at that. 658 also adds up to 19. 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 8 is 19. Okay? So, this, this number here, 658, is equal to 2. Is prime numbers, prime factors is 2, 7, 4, 7. This number 2747 is index, is the index of composite 3200. And it's also the index of this, this composite is 2346. Okay. Chapter Three in the Quran has 200 verses. 2346 is the number of verses from 11 to 1998. And 1998 happens to be the index of 2346. The 19th permutation of 2346 is 6234. And this is the total number of numbered verses in the Quran. Okay. So this is how God has designed the Quran. This is how we generate the Quran. This is the knowledge that God has given us. Okay. The least we can do is to be grateful to God. It's the least we can do. Okay. And so anyway, I've shown you all of these things and just ponder and, and 
think about these things, okay? And as I said, don't fall for the for the mag magicians, okay? okay? Because the magicians, they 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 once they see it, the experts when they see it, okay, they are going to gravitate. The ones who are not experts and non-experts and fiddling with numbers and stuff like that, they are going to continue doing what they are doing. Okay. So I'm going to stop here and we'll we'll finish our.